Yo guys, what's going on? I'm the Twitchy Gamer and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video and in today's video we're going to be having a look at the exotic grenade launcher, the Colony. Now this um, grenade launcher came out with the um, Curse of Osiris DLC and yeah I mean um, this was actually the first exotic weapon that I've gotten from this DLC and I was pretty heartbroken um, as I really wanted the Jade Rabbit but you know I'm not going to complain because this grenade launcher is still pretty awesome. Um, the the law reads, we outnumber you, we will find you, you are alone, and we are colony. Now, the looks of the weapon, it honestly looks so cool, as you can see. Like, it it really looks cool. Um, I'm not sure if it kind of looks like a SIVA weapon, as I never really played Destiny in uh, like um, the Rise of Iron when it, the Seaver was the main enemy in that DLC and all that so you know if it is uh, if that's what you know the weapon designs based on then you know let me down in the comments you know but you know if not then that's cool anyway so for the perks we've got the main perk the exotic perk insectoid robot grenades and basically um, with this gun, if you miss a grenade, um, it will turn into a little, you know, robotic spider and chase after your enemies. As it says here, this weapon's grenades are insectoid robots that chase targets and explode close to them. But if you shoot and hit them normally, like in direct um, contact, nothing happens. It's just like a normal grenade launcher. So for the barrel, we've got the linear compensator, slightly increases projectile speed, um, blast radius and stability. Uh, then we've got the high velocity rounds. This weapon's projectiles are particularly light and quick, which increases the projectile speed and the reload speed. Serve the colony is the trait. Insectoid robot grenades quickly repopulate the magazine from reserves while the colony is unequipped. Basically, that just means if you don't have it equipped and it's empty, it'll, you know, reload itself pretty much. Then we've got composite stock, which basically, you know, increases stability and handling speed. Um, to get this as well, I'm pretty sure it's all through RNG, as I think the five um, exotics that we do know about in this DLC, I think they are all, you know, RNG. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, if not, uh, let me know. But I know this one is definitely RNG. Um, I do believe it always comes in void as well. Uh, I'm pretty sure it does. But, um, yeah, um, there is also a ornament for this gun, which I believe turns it all white. Unfortunately, as you can see, I do not have it yet, but I'll eventually get it, hopefully. But, um, yeah, I think it's time we will jump into some gameplay. Alright, see you soon. So, as you can see, I shot him normally, nothing happened. If you just shoot straight to the ground becomes a little insectoid um i don't really think they home as you saw before um you know just flew off the edge but they do climb which is pretty cool um i have yet to use this in crucible as i've stated in previous videos i'm not a crucible fan but i feel like it would be pretty decent um in it but in saying that as well in Crucible, you don't necessarily get a lot of ammo um, while when you pick up, you know, power ammo. But um, I think you'd probably get at least three or four, which would easily get you a kill or two. But, um, yeah, unfortunately, I don't actually have, you know, any more ammo in it um, to reload because the reload animation is pretty cool, in my opinion. Um, oh, here we go. I'll be able to show you. <coughs> As you can see, it's like, it's like the, um, you know, the magazine's magnetized of some sorts. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, I actually checked out, um, you know, to see what does more damage and the insectoids do about a hundred more damage. At least that's what it, um, did when I was fighting the Fallen Walker in the public event on Titan. So, yeah, I don't actually have any gameplay of that, but, um, you can just take my word for it or... You know, it's a, you know, it's really up to you. But, um, yeah, uh, you know, thank you for watching. Um, you know, be sure to like and sub for more videos. You know, just do whatever you want, really. It doesn't bother me. But uh, thank you for coming by, and I will catch you all in the next video.